The Boxer program represents a £5 billion investment in 623 advanced armoured vehicles designed to enhance the mobility and protection of the UK's new strike brigades. Produced by Rainmetal BAE Systems Land RBSL in Telford, the Boxer is expected to significantly improve the mechanised capability of the British Army. Despite the delays, the British Army remains on track to integrate the Boxer into its forces. The British Army has been given an urgent warning to ramp up its spending by billions to prepare the country for war. Ministers have been told the increased stockpiles of drones, shells and armoured vehicles as procurement of ships, submarines, and fighter jets remain slow. The upcoming Strategic Defence Review, which will be published before the NATO summit in June, will reveal how the Army, Navy and Air Force will be modernised over the coming years. While the Army's modernization will continue over the next decade with a program of investment worth billions of pounds. The Defense Minister also highlighted the strategic importance of the Boxer program during the unveiling of the first fully British-made Boxer at the International Armoured Vehicle Conference in Farnborough. She emphasized that this project reflects the UK government's plan for change, strengthening partnerships with industry and creating thousands of skilled jobs across the country. The UK Ministry of Defence has completed the construction of a British Army vehicle storage and support facility in Ashchurch Camp, England. The 25,300 square metre 272,326 square foot centre incorporates modern, sustainable storage and maintenance solutions to house over 900 military vehicles in the region. Despite supply chain issues continuing to hinder the production of the British Army's 600 Boxer 8x8 armoured fighting vehicles AFV on order, the UK government has said it expects 100 units per year to be delivered moving forward. A total of 623 Boxer vehicles across four distinct variants are on contract, comprising Infantry Carrier 146 units, Command Platform 212 units, Specialist Carrier 200 units, and Ambulance 65 units. In addition, follow-on orders could be made for other variants, such as the Amord Mortar Vehicle AMV Platform, the Serpent's Deep Find Radar, a ground-based air defense, CSAT Variant 2032 IOC timeframe, and a TYRO Combat Support Bridging Vehicle. The AMV variant has a development timeline for 2030, followed by 2031 for the Serpent's, and 2032 for the GBAD, CSAT variant. The TYRO timeline sees a rough development guide from 2029. The UK has committed to the co-development of the RCH-155 self-propelled artillery platform with Germany. In a written parliamentary response, Defence Procurement Minister Maria Eagle admitted on March 12 that British Army boxer deliveries had been subject to ongoing delays due to global supply chain issues resulting from the war in Ukraine. However, production vehicles are now arriving, and Defence expects industry to deliver up to 100 vehicles per year, Eagle said. The first UK-manufactured British Army Boxer Armoured Fighting Vehicle was unveiled at the International Armoured Vehicle Conference in January 2025. With over 600 Boxers due to be delivered at up to 100 per year, this provides the earliest completion of all units by around 2030. The first UK-manufactured Boxer AFB handed over to the British Army was showcased at the recent International Armoured Vehicles Conference. Concurrently, the British Army is conducting trials programs, including firing tests at Lulworth Ranges in Dorset, to prove the mission capabilities of the Boxer ahead of wider adoption. However, the British Army has to translate all of the training manuals needed for the Boxer into English, a process that could delay the take-up of the AFB into service. Although there is considerable cross-pollination of parts in the UK Boxer program, the workshare will see UK industry build the equivalent of 374 of the 623 Boxer MIVs. This will see German industry build the remaining 249 vehicles. The platforms will be assembled by Telford-based Rainmetal BAE Systems Land RBSL, a joint venture between the UK's BAE Systems in Germany's Rainmetal and KNDS in Germany. Rainmetal BAE Systems Land RBSL claimed the Boxer program would create 4,000 highly skilled jobs in engineering, development, and complex systems integration, according to a January 9, 2025 release. However, a subsequent January 25 release publicizing the delivery of the first UK-built British Army Boxer said the program would create over 1,000 skilled jobs, with over 100 UK suppliers involved. Rainmetal BAE Systems Land RBSL stated that around 75% of Boxer's components were sourced domestically, providing a resilient UK supply.
The original 2018 statement by the then conservative UK government mentioned the creation of at least 1,000 jobs as a result of rejoining the Boxer program. In 2019 the UK government awarded a contract to Artec GmbH, a partnership between Rainmetal and KNDS, with the actual manufacturer subcontracted to Rainmetal BAE Systems Land and KNDS. Rainmetal invested £56 million into the Rainmetal BAE Systems Land RBSL site in Telford, creating modern fabrication lines for armored steel, advanced surface treatment systems, and integrated assembly lines for both drive and mission modules. In addition, WFEL, a UK subsidiary of KNDS, anticipated in 2021 the creation of 120 jobs at a new manufacturing facility in Stockport in support of the Boxer program. The UK's Defence Equipment and Support stated in 2021 that the Boxer program aimed to secure 60% by value of contract from within the UK supply chain. Supply chain examples cited in the same statement included Bath-based Horstman which would manufacture angular gearboxes and control units. Horstman is owned by Germany's Rank Group AG Engineering and Manufacturing Company. Meanwhile, information revealed that the DVD event in 2024 showed Boxer Program's so-called strategic pipeline, which included variants not among the original four that could be acquired in the years ahead. This strategic pipeline includes the Boxer-based RCH-155 self-propelled artillery platform, with the UK signing a deal to undertake the co-development of the capability with Germany, as well as the introduction of an armoured mortar vehicle AMV variant. British Army officials indicated the armoured mortar vehicle AMV variant would have an IOC of 2030, compared to an anticipated 2029 for the RCH-155 platform. Other boxer types being considered as part of the strategic pipeline include the Serpent's Deep Fine Radar Platform, which appeared to have a 2031 IOC, a ground-based air defense GBAD, CS-80 variant 2032 IOC timeframe that would feature something like a Sky Ranger turret, and a TYRO combat support bridging vehicle reaching IOC, a little earlier around 2029. The defense minister also highlighted the strategic importance of the Boxer program during the unveiling of the first fully British-made Boxer at the International Armored Vehicle Conference in Farnborough. She emphasized that this project reflects the UK government's plan for change, strengthening partnerships with industry and creating thousands of skilled jobs across the country.